Hey, it's Ricky Martinez. And if there's one thing I wish was real, it'd be freaking dragons like Toothless here. We're at the red carpet of How to Train Your Dragon 2. Going to talk to all of the characters of the film. Let's go have some fun. Come on. Nice to meet you from Big Boys Neighborhood. John Powell, tell me about how, like, the difference between doing or composing for the first How to Train Your Dragon and the second, the sequel is. Well, the sequel's hard because it's a good one. Right. And when they're rubbish, yeah. it's easy. You kind of <laughs> you can just pull up everything you did in the first one and rehash it. Ah. Couldn't do that on this one. No, not at all. I needed to use some of the original material, some of the themes, because people were coming back the same characters. But I had to develop a whole new set of themes and uh, and really follow the story more closely, maybe than or even on the first one. Now you've composed for so many animated films. Do you feel like when you tap into these different, there's a different for every film, or can you kind of, like you said, go into like the same um, aspect of composing for them? Well, you're always trying to attach yourself emotionally to the story. And then if you believe it, even if it's a bad film, a good film, you, you try and believe it yourself. It's like an actor right. trying to really get into the, the character. So it, once I've done that, and in this case, it's a, such a good film, right. it's easy, absolutely easy. I watched it a year and a half ago right. when it was just drawings, you know, nothing was moving. And it worked. The story worked. Everything about it worked. I, I had no problem just loving the story from that moment on. And I started to write themes a year and a half ago, and then gradually it comes together. Now, speaking of the storyline in this film, I know when um, when the, we find the mother again, and you could see kind of like the flame relight itself with mom and dad. Do you think like what past love should stay in the past, or do you believe in that old flames can come back into your life and that can happen? Well, I think... Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think from my own personal experience, that might be very dangerous, but uh, if my wife... Exes should stay exes. Yeah, my wife wouldn't like it. Right. But I think in this case, I think it's the right thing. You'll see when you watch the film that it's absolutely the right thing. And the, I think these, these are really two, two people who loved each other very greatly and were separated by an ideology that was, has since been changed by their son. So it, so it feels honest, and so when they come back together, I think you watch it and you, you, it just feels right. It's real again. Thank you so much, John, for stopping by. Can't wait to check this out. Thank you. Timberland, best then, better now. Available at Robert Wayne Footwear.